Just outside the entrance to the Wilbur House Museum's office, we have a lovely Colonial Revival herb garden that is enclosed in a stone wall. It was built in 1963, shortly after the Wilbur House was gifted to the Historical Society and was undergoing renovations. It has been lovingly maintained by the Little Compton Garden Club since that time. But how accurate is the garden to what Mary Potter Wilbur's 1690 garden might have looked like? Garden design didn't change very much from 1620 to 1840. So not only can we make a pretty good estimate of what Mary Wilbur's garden would have looked like in 1690, we can also guess that it continued to look that way for several generations of Wilbur's after her. The garden design that we have is actually pretty accurate to the time, but not to a country farm. The symmetrical garden that we have with clamshell walkways and stone walls would have been more at home in an urban environment. Here in Little Compton, it would have been more of a dooryard garden. The beds would have been built up four to five inches and enclosed by boards so that the soil could have been more easily warmed by the sun. It kind of sounds like a modern container garden. And where our garden's beds are triangular, Mary Wilbur's beds would have been long rectangles or squares so that all of the planting area could be accessed. One difference from gardening today is that they would have planted according to what made the most sense for each individual plant instead of trying to get it to look a certain way overall. They would have planted seeds that needed to be replanted yearly away from perennials that would last for multiple seasons. They also would have put delicate plants away from hardier plants with thick roots. And most of all, they kept smellier herbs further away. Women needed these door yard gardens to do several important jobs in the home. The first thing that most of us think of is culinary herbs and vegetables. But the women of the house would have also made their own fragrances, dyes, and medicines. For the rest of the week, we'll be talking about what the women would have grown for each of those reasons and how they would have used them.